Hey, how's it going everyone? And welcome back to another exciting tutorial. Today I'm gonna to show you how to create a speed ramp and edit it on your phone. What a speed ramp basically is, it's a technique used to adjust the speed of your clips by speeding up and slowing it down to create a dramatic and creative effect in your video. I personally like to use a speed ramp in my travel videos, but this technique can be applied to any type of video. And I'm gonna show you behind the scene of how I create my speed ramp videos. I have my girlfriend with me. She's gonna be the model in today's video. And the gear I'm using is actually the DJI OM4 gimbal. This gimbal is great for stabilizing your footage, especially if you need to create complex movements. You could also go handheld, but I personally like using a gimbal because it's just so much easier. So the phone I'll be using is the iPhone 12 Pro Max, which is capable of shooting 4K 60 frames per second in 10-bit HDR, which gives me the highest uh, quality possible when shooting in slow motion. I will also be using the native camera app. Since I don't care too much about shutter speed, everything will be slowed down, so there will be no motion blur anyways. You could use Filmic Pro, but I want to keep this tutorial easy. Now you don't have to have an iPhone, you can also use it with any other type of phone that has a camera. The principles are the same. So the lens I will be using is the wide angle lens. That's the overall better lens of the three. Uh, but you can certainly mix up lenses, you know, go, go with the tele lens, go with the ultra wide angle lens. But for today's shoot, I'll be just using the wide angle lens. So in our first shot, I'm gonna create a push-in shot. My girlfriend is gonna walk towards the river. And in the second shot, I'm gonna do the same thing, a push-in shot, but just from a different angle. And you wanna make sure to create the same camera movement for each shot. So when putting the two clips together, the speed run will look more seamless. Three, two, one, go. So another thing I forgot to mention is that when you're doing your camera movements, it's important that you sort of have the edit in your mind and then start moving fast forward and then slowing down with your body. This way you can also help with the speed ramp a bit, but you don't have to, but it's just an idea. If you already know where you want to slow your footage down, uh, you can do that while creating your camera movement. And the second shot will be from this side, also a push-in shot. Okay, you ready? All right, three, two, one, go. Nice. All right, that was great. So now that we have both of our clips, I'm now gonna show you how to create a speed ramp using the VN app. The VN app is a mobile editing application that is available for iOS and Android users. And the great thing is it's for free without any watermarks and it offers many features, which is more than enough for most mobile editing users. I personally like using InShot and LumaFusion, but I know that there are a lot of mobile editing applications out there that are great, such as the VN app, which I thought is worth sharing with you guys. If you wanna follow along, I have a free download link below to both of the clips. So with that said, let me show you how I do it. So I'm first gonna open the VN app and I'm gonna select the plus sign and then new project. I'm gonna select the two clips I shot. I'm gonna select the arrow key. And as you can see, it's in our timeline. And the first thing I do is I trim the clips just to use the best portion of it. So I'm gonna start with the first clip, I'm gonna tap on it, and I'm gonna drag it to the right until she starts walking. That looks good. And then I'm gonna stop the clip around here. So I'm gonna drag this part to the left around here. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing with the second clip. I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna drag it 
until I start walking around here. I actually want the speed ramp to transition from here. Okay. And then it should stop around here. All right, that should look great. And you can sort of preview your speed ramp transition by skimming over the two clips like that. Whoosh. And that should look awesome. All right, so to create our speed ramp, I'm gonna select the first clip and select speed. So since the clip was shot in 4K 60 frames per second, I'm able to slow it down. So I want the clip to start slow and then speed up fast. So to do that, I'm gonna drag the left point down to around 0.5. That will slow down the clip. And I want it to start speeding up around here. So I'm actually gonna remove the middle point and I'm gonna drag this point here because I want it to speed up starting here. And I will use this point and drag it upwards to round three to speed up the clip. And you get this nice S curve. So let's play it back. I think that should look good. All right, once you're done, hit the check mark. Let's move on to the second clip. Select speed, and I want the clip to start fast, so I'm gonna drag the left point upwards to around three. Same with the second point. I'm gonna delete the middle point and I'm gonna drag this point down to around 0.5 so that it ends up in slow motion. Like so, and we have this S curve again. Let's play it back. All right, nice. Okay, hit the check mark. I'm gonna remove the sound find it kind of distracting. So let's play it back. Nice. And you can always tweak your footage if it's not smooth and do these fine adjustments. Now to export the clip, just select the top right corner and resolution is 4K, frames per second is 25 frames per second, bit rate is at 30,000. HDR is on because I shot it in 10-bit HDR Dolby Vision and then select export and you're done. Now obviously I could color grade the clip, add music and sound effects to make the video come alive but I just wanted to show you how to create this simple speed ramp transition. So let me show you how the final video looks like with color grading, music and sound effects applied. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to leave a like if you did. Make sure to leave a comment below and let me know if you use the VN app for your mobile content. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe so that I can keep creating awesome tutorials for you guys. If you're not part of a Facebook group, make sure to join my smartphone filmmaking community where you can share your work and get feedback from others. We have over a thousand active members at the moment and it's growing day by day. So make sure you don't miss out. If you haven't downloaded my free smartphone filmmaking guide, make sure to do that as well as this will help you get started creating quality mobile content. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video.